Take a look down there. Now this type of site you'd normally think you'd see at Cape Canaveral, but we're here in San Francisco, California. And one of the most important things uh, about our bridge is the architecture of it, the actual way that it looks. We're halfway up in the tower right now, and this tower actually tapers. It's wider at the base, and it continues to get smaller at the top. We are 272 feet in the air. We're at the top of the second lift for our self-anchored suspension bridge tower. If you ever wondered what it looked like, here it is. Now this tower is a complete five lift process and each section actually lands on top of the next one. So we're at the top of the second lift. This will actually be the bottom of the third lift. And these bolt holes you see right here are how we connect the pieces together. We use interior and exterior splice plates to sandwich the steel together. They have to be very precisely aligned. And it's a real challenge for the construction crews to balance that much weight align everything perfectly so that the top tower segment slides down between the splice plates and all of the bolting can take place. And we used thousands of bolts to make the connections at this location. Now we're actually here at a specific moment in time that's very important. It's a milestone to the project. If you come around this side, you'll see that we have just landed the last piece of the second lift. And the team is right now disconnecting strand jacks that actually did the heavy lifting on this operation. The operation was lifting four 617 ton sections of bridge. And this takes us about halfway to the full height of what will be our signature tower for the Bay Bridge. Thanks for watching Bay Bridge 360 and please be sure to check back with us for the next episode.